I'm here, Logan Jr. Chef, and I'm gonna be making some delicious treats for man's best friend. That's right, I'm gonna be making some gourmet dog biscuits, and I'm gonna show you how you can too. Now the first thing you gotta do is set up all your ingredients. Now right here I have some whole wheat flour, I have some pumpkin, I have a little bit of crunchy peanut butter, and then I also have some of my own little flavors here. I have some cooked carrots, which are gonna be really delicious, and of course, most importantly, little bacon bits. Now I've made sure that all my ingredients here are vet approved. I've made sure not to add any chocolate or salt or pepper. I've managed to make it all really healthy so your dog stays healthy and happy while it's enjoying this awesome, amazing treat. So let's get started. First, I'm going to take my one cup of whole wheat flour. I'm going to dump it in. Boom. Next, I'm going to take my um, half a cup of peanut butter, not peanut butter, pumpkin. Boom. Make sure you get all that yummy goodness. Now the pumpkin is really good for your dog. It helps its digestive tract. Really amazing stuff. Next, we're going to add in our peanut butter. Now I've chosen crunchy peanut butter because I want the dog to have a little bit more to chew on, crunch on, you know, make it a little bit more interesting. You don't want a boring dog treat. I mean, then isn't really a treat. So, I'm going to add it in. Believe this is another half a cup of peanut butter and this is what you're going to want to use one of your little silicone spatulas to get it all out because this is really thick and sticky stuff boom next i'm going to add in my own little spin on these i'm going to add in some carrots these are just going to be really delicious you know dogs love carrots um they're supposedly good for the eyesight <laughs> hopefully you get that joke next the bacon bits now this, this is really important because, you know, bacon's delicious. I mean, I'm sure that your dog has come up to the table during breakfast and tried to snag a piece of your bacon. Well, now you're gonna give them some. So, bacon bits in. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna mix it up. Now you just kinda gotta mix it up. You're gonna try and get a batter here. Try not to worry too much about the texture and stuff. These are just gonna bake up and your dog's gonna love them. You know, take your time with this. That's one of the things about cooking is you always have to remember that. Don't rush it too much. Have some fun. It'll turn out delicious. So what I've done is I really mixed it up, got it really nice, and this is kind of the texture you're looking for. Now I have some extra flour here that um, I'm using to flour my board. Now this can be really important because you don't want your dog treat and your dough to stick to the board. So now we're just gonna wanna try and roll it out a bit and you kind of start to see it. You can see we've got a lot of really good textures mixed in there. I'm trying to really get it. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour to the top so that it doesn't stick to my rolling pin. I don't worry too much about getting it very thin because you've got a lot of really delicious crunchy toppings in there and uh, little interesting bits. Now I do have some more um, some cookie cutters here. Now I'm putting them on my baking grease pan. There, you can see, it's kind of fun. Got another ninja guy, which I'm gonna do next. Um, this is just like making cookies or anything else. Just wanna cut it out. Now, the most important step of all. What I have over here is I have a little bit of baking grease and I have a little brush. What we're gonna do is we're gonna brush them with baking grease before they bake. This is gonna help them bake and also get more bacony flavor and make your dog really go crazy when they smell these. Because I mean, I go crazy when I smell bacon. I'm sure your dog will too. And um, you know, we're gonna start putting these in the oven. It's gonna be 350 degrees um, for about, I would say 10 to 15 minutes. Now these were in a 350 degree oven for 18 minutes. Came out really nice. Um, I fed one to my dog and he really loved it. So these are doggy approved. And uh, just have some fun, add your own ingredients. And uh, if you want some more people food recipes, follow me at Logan Jr. Chef and uh, catch some wicked cool grilling stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you made your best friend happy. Catch you later.